You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssel van Vieren. With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Janssen von Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my book, Once, Tales, Myths and Legends of Fairy, available in ebook, paperback and audiobook. Go to rinaldemythmaker.com forward slash my hyphen books for more. We're continuing our exploration of the power players of fairy. Today's fairy, the Dark King. Folklore in a nutshell by Renal. The closest to a dark fairy king I could find was the Owl King, immortalized in verse by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and put into song by Franz Schubert. There's a translation to English by Sir Walter Scott. Basically, the Owl King is known in Germanic folklore as a dark and sinister elf who lives in the woods and enjoys stalking and killing children. The famous fairy king, mostly thanks to Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, is Oberon. This fairy king was popular in medieval and renaissance literature. In some tales, he helps humans with their quests. In others, he is in a love triangle, real and imagined, with Mab in Titania. After Tuatha Dei Danon were defeated by the Milesians in Ireland, they decided to make their homes beneath the earth. Entrances were caves, springs, cracks and other clever ways. They were led by Finbir, or Finvara, son of Dachta. This fairy king loved revels and frequently enticed mortal women to join him, and they usually returned home unscathed after a night of dancing. He also loved horses and rode a flaming-eyed steed. It's probably best to stay away from haunted woods. And now for my interpretation of the Fae, in an origin of the Fae, the Dark King. The Dark King, the Unseelie King, the Fairy King, Kieran. He rules the Dark Fae, the Dark Lions, and his own castle within. Even the unseen Unseelie answer to him. He prefers to look like the modern depiction of a gorgeous vampire in a paranormal romance novel, for reasons unknown. He likes to sow chaos, especially when it will serve his greater goal of more power. He follows his own rules and doesn't care what others think of him. He prefers to rule with fear. He is just as powerful as the fairy queen. He has moments of kindness, though they are far outweighed by his propensity for cruelty. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renaldemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic and danger await. Take care.